Hello everyone, I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. This is Steve. Um, what I'm going to be showing you this evening is something I've been working on for the longest time. I've even asked questions about it and I basically wasn't able to figure this one out until recently. After I've come, upon, you know, come across some really good examples, I was able to start working with some code. So what I did is I created a, a basic program to actually do this and let me just rerun this game it just crashed on me for some reason sorry for the slight setback there for a second I wanted to leave that up just to show you something anyway so what I want to do eventually is port this over to the game so watch over here in the screen in Vice here you'll notice that there's a sprite in the background and there's a characters from A to P, you know, kind of repeating letters going all the way across the screen. And look up here, you'll see it says character and it says six. And then you'll see little values here and little values here and this. So this represents the character that the screen or the sprite is passing over. This is just representing the X and the Y mathematical. I could probably just remove that, but I did that for testing purposes. This 1396.75, kind of weird I know, but that's actually showing the screen memory location. So as I move in here, you'll see this change right here. This character will detect whatever character I'm crossing over. And keep in mind, this is not built into the C64. It's something, let's crash that thing again. It's something you have to actually learn how to do by, you know, playing with some math. Anyways, watch as I move. You'll see the character 7 change up there to 8. And now you notice I'm pointing at H. So, or, yeah, H. So H is the actual character for 8. Now as I move back to H, you'll see it still stays on H. Now as soon as I go to I, it'll change to 9. See? Now if I go back to H, it'll go back to 8, 9. So anywhere I go on this map, you notice it's staying on 9 here. It's going to follow whatever character I'm doing. This is some, this is a really cool that I was able to figure this out after some help. And I mean, this is going to allow me in the game over here to figure out where the ladders are where everything is once I get this algorithm working in my game. But I think it's really, really cool. This was a testing purpose I did to make this work. See how it's changing everywhere? So no matter where I go, see how it's staying on 6 there? It's going to follow. Now the only thing it doesn't do is past 255. There's there's an error there because it has to flip back. I'll show you the code here in a little bit. But see how it goes up to L. Now if I go up here, it should go to 32 or something like that. There it is. So that means it's space. It's no longer seeing any character in memory, so it's only on the space as I move around here. If I go up here, it'll detect whatever these characters are. Now that isn't cool, I don't know what is. So it works. So it'll eventually enable me to figure out where everything is on the map, and I don't have to do this crazy stuff you saw me last time, where I had to flash this and flash that to kind of figure out where he was in position. Once I get this in the game, it'll be able to figure out exactly where every character is on the screen. Except, of course, if I go over here, it'll crash. That's because of the, um, the 255 barrier. If I flip it back to 1, it won't work. It'll flip it all the way back here since it'll reset X back to 1. So let me show you the code anyway. Those you might want to see it. This is just a simple joystick setup. I just increment it by 4 to make it move a little faster. This position is a sprite, of course, at horizontal and vertical. This is the math here I did. So what I'm doing is I'm taking X character, X, wherever the sprite represents the sprite location. See right here, it's at the sprite location. Minus 40, which is how big the screen is. And you divide it by 8 since there's 8 pixels inside of each of these things, these little characters. And the same thing with this Y character. And you take Y. So subtract it from 25 since this goes from 0 to 25 and divide it by 8 again to pay 8 pixels. And this math I had to really work out. Actually, I can remove 185 now since I was doing my own testing. You'll see how many times I kind of went back in and had to keep working with it. It took me a while to get the algorithm working. Actually, it took me about two days. But I've been working a lot longer than that. So anyways, it just basically takes the screen position here. Um... Oh, I, there's 189. I don't need that one, actually. Let's take that one out. Hope that I just raised something there. Do that again. So anyways, right here it takes the screen memory position, figures out where X is, 
at 17, this is so I could get a position wherever this fight was because it always wants to start way over here, so I had to kind of position it over. And then plus 40 times integer, so I had to make this an integer, otherwise this YC will result to decimal. And to subtract 2 from it, and eventually subtract it from 13 to get it to position correctly. And of course, this is, these are just the messages down here. You'll see the first one here is peeking the location of the character, and it's just peeking whatever that VL is pointing to right there where that screen memory shows. And right here, this is just positioning XC and RYC, which is what those values I showed you up there earlier. And it's prints VL. And screen memory just repeats the loop. So, it works. I'm just so ecstatic about this because I know this is going to take me further than I ever dreamed of. Now I can detect everything on the screen once I get this thing working in my program. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. And, yeah, this is going to be awesome. Thanks for watching, and this is Steve Morrow signing off. Oh, and before I forget, um, I'll have another video up for this soon. So I just haven't really worked on anything else. I've been trying to get this character position to work. So talk to you soon. Bye.